Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a new but somewhat familiar product from Elgato, the Stream Deck Plus. This new take on the Stream Deck gives you the familiar programmable buttons that you might be used to, a vast marketplace of plugins, and some new audio controls utilizing the robust features of Elgato's waveline of audio products. But before we go ahead and get into all that stuff, I did wanna mention that Elgato did send the Stream Deck Plus out to us for a review. However, that does not influence anything that I'm gonna be saying today about the Stream Deck Plus. So now let's go ahead and jump over to the computer so we can take a look at it. All right, so now you can see we're over at the computer and we have our software here for the Elgato Stream Deck Plus. This uses the same software that the Stream Deck uses, so you can actually just change your devices in here as well as do all the cool things with the different profiles you might wanna set up for those. As always, all of the different plugins you might wanna add, you can actually add through the store right here as well as different icon packs. You can see that I have it as well in the camera view, so you can see the Stream Deck while I'm making some changes and just showing you how some of these buttons and stuff works and um, yeah we've got buttons and if I swipe to change pages you don't actually have to have a dedicated button anymore on the stream deck you can actually swipe to the next page now it doesn't look like a ton of stuff has changed down here but you might be able to see that the icons have actually changed from like a headphone to this um, I don't know what I don't know what you would call that little icon uh, right next to all those devices, but it, it's it's for streaming, okay? It means that you're messing with your stream mix, not your uh, monitor mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page. If we swipe back, we can see that we're on that first page, we can swipe to the second page, and then now we're on our third page. This touch bar is updated. Um, the, the bar here is linked to the dial beneath, which is really good so you always know what you're adjusting there and we have the ability to adjust, say, the brightness of the Stream Deck if we wanted to, we could add that in there. If we wanted to, we can also set up hotkeys whenever this is turned. So you got a rotating counterclockwise, I could set that to be three on the number pad, and you could also you know, set four for counterclockwise and different ones for um, tapping. And we're just going to uh, mess with that dial really quick. So that one there, and we can see that uh, three, four, three, four, three, four, 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 three, and then one, 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 one. <laughs> so there we go. Um, yeah, it's that easy to uh, set up a hot key on the dial function. And you know, up here, you still have the regular functionality of a stream deck. If you wanted this to say launch a website, you could put this to um, google.com or YouTube or Netflix, whatever you want that to be. You could set those hot keys there as well. Most of the functionality is definitely on the dials. I mean, that, that's the new functionality this is bringing. And the cool stuff is that it brings in the Wavelink functionality. And let's see some other stuff this might be useful for. So yeah, we can adjust multimedia. This seems like it's going to be doing um, most of the system. So we can change this for um, the volume or the actual player itself. And uh, we could, you know, push that in to uh, play and pause and adjust the volume. And we can see those functions down here. Moving it left to right adjusts the system volume and then pressing can mute and unmute. We can adjust brightness of a light. So I'm going to actually set this to my key light and I'm going to adjust it ever so slightly and then put it back. We're on 25 and you can see it's actually getting dim here. So let's find 25 again. There we go. Let's look at the Wavelink because I think like I've got set up on these other pages, this is what people are really gonna be interested in. So we have output actions, so we can adjust stuff like our monitor mix. So what's going to our headphones can be adjusted now on this dial if you wanted to do that. And you could also have one set for um, your stream mix. So this is what would be going out to your live stream could be on this dial super convenient. And then we also have what I think is the most powerful because I would probably have headphones on one of them, but I do have the Elgato Wave XLR. So I adjust the volume to my headphones on that. But if not, this would be a perfect thing to add to this. But you might say, the amount of stuff Wave um, XL or the Elgato Wave system gives you options to up to seven options, and the problem is you've only got four dials here. How do you how do you uh, how do you deal with that? Well, you actually have some other options that you can do. So, the way that this works is say for on the uh, system, I can turn system up, 
but I can also press system in to mute, which is really cool. Or I could just tap on system and mute and unmute. And you can be able to see that corresponding in the software. So we can do that. But if you notice, um, I, I've got browser here as well. And actually the way I've got browser set is um, I'm not gonna adjust the browser as much as I would adjust the volume chat for the, or the voice chat in the game chat. So I've actually got the volume set to um, what's called a, a dial stack. That's what it's called. So you can actually drag a dial stack in and add as many different input actions as you want. So if I wanted the ability to change the monitor mix of what I'm hearing for my game, I can set that. And then let's say if I press it again, I want to change something else. Let's say I wanted to change my monitor mix again, but for voice chat, I can add that. And you could just go down through this list and add as many things as you want. So right now it's set to game. And whenever I tap the, um, the screen, it's gonna mute it. But instead of pushing it into mute now, it actually changes from game chat to voice chat. And you can stack this with whatever you want. So if you wanted to go in here and also have the options for adjust brightness, we can do that for um, the key lights, um, right? So I can do that and then go back, press that button in one more time. And once again, we're adjusting the brightness of the Elgato key light. How about that? Super easy to use and really convenient. So you can see we could stack all these up with um, different audio input actions, um, the different lights that we have, and we could really customize this. And you could have one set up just like I've got, one for gaming, and have all the audio options that you want at your fingertips there, and then one separately for Twitch streaming and have all the buttons that you want there for Twitch streaming. And what's really cool is, let's say for example, for your live stream for Twitch, you wanted to have access to this at all times. Like let's say you wanted this audio set up at all times and you don't wanna, whenever you go to this page, the audio or the settings be different. You can actually just duplicate this and then now three could be this and you could actually just change these icons and uh, change what they do. So instead you could add more functionality to this next page if you wanted to. The Elgato Stream Deck is a robust solution for creators and power users with a price point that's hard to beat at $199, that's being USD, for the features that it offers. It offers an easy to use UI, a great selection of plugins, eight programmable buttons, four dials, a touchscreen, and access to Elgato's Wave audio functionality. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think about the Stream Deck Plus. And while you're at it, go ahead and click here to check out my top five Stream Deck plugins of 2022. Peace.